Am I pissed because the Phillies lost? Absolutely. Am I pissed because we held the Braves to three runs? Keep in mind, zero earned runs and lost the game? Yes. Am I pissed because we only had five hits today and five home runs yesterday? Inconsistent much? Yes, I am disgusted because of that. But I also am disgusted with what Gabe Kapler said to the media after the game. <laughs> what is going on, everyone? The Phillies lose 3-1 to one to the Braves. And yes, I am truly disappointed with how this game played out, right? But I waited. I waited after the game so I can hear Gabe Kapler. I love to do it. I've said this before because he pisses me off so much. I just can't stand him. And I love it fueling me. Really, I listen to him because it fuels me. Because I can't stand the guy. But one thing he said... <laughs> Makes me sick. Nick Vincent was in the game in the ninth inning. We had outstanding defense in the ninth inning. The score was 3-1 to one at this point. Adam Hazley with this diving catch in left field. Bryce Harper to end the ninth with a cannon outfield assist. Another one at home to save a run. So Nick Vincent got lucky because we had such great defense at that inning. Gabe Kapler was asked, Gabe, if it got to bases loaded in the ninth, would Nick Vincent face Freddie Freeman? Because he didn't have anyone warming up in the pen. His response? Yes, we would have stayed with Nick Vincent to face Freddie Freeman because he has a good cutter. What? What? I get it. We didn't score enough runs. Okay, I understand that. We had one run. I get that. We only had five hits. I get that. I'm thinking more of the future. I'm thinking more of this is our manager. Okay? This guy was going to put Nick Vincent in a baseball game. A 3-1 to one game down the stretch when we're fighting for a wild card. He was going to put Nick Vincent in a situation to face Freddie Freeman. This guy doesn't know baseball. I, I mean, this guy doesn't know baseball. I'm going to lose my mind. I, I really am going to lose my mind. How How is this his thought process? Mr. Analytics. What analytics tell you that Nick Vincent versus Freddie Freeman is a good idea? Now, luckily, we didn't have to see that, or else I would have freaked out even more, right? This is me just processing, maybe seeing it. Good thing we didn't actually have to. Blows my mind. It blows my mind that this guy is managing baseball at the major league level. Maybe maybe my little league. You know, maybe my little league. But the majors? I don't get it. I don't get it. So, listen. Zero earned runs. Gene Segura had a big-time error there in the fourth inning. Zach Eflin allowed a homer to Flowers. It was a three-run shot, and that's how they scored all their runs. Eflin struggled, okay? Eflin struggled. He had a high pitch count. He wasn't very solid today in terms of putting people away. The Braves spoiled a ton of his pitches. So it, it just, at the end of the day, it wasn't good enough because our starting pitcher wasn't able to go deep. And keep in mind, yes, our bullpen did great, but our bullpen did great for two straight days now while our starting pitching struggled. You know what that means? We're due for a day where the bullpen struggles while we get good starting pitching. Like, that's how this goes. We will have a good outing, and then our bullpen needs to come in to save the day, and they're going to struggle because they've gotten abused over the last two days. So there is a domino effect. This is the fifth starter this season to go four or fewer innings with 90-plus pitches. That happened five times from 2016 to 2018. That's bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's not a good stat. I could tell you that for free. In... The fifth inning, bottom five. The score was three to one. 
we ended up scoring in the fourth. So they scored their three runs with that with that home run in the top of the fourth. We respond a little bit in the bottom of the fourth. Reese gets uh, Bryce Harper gets on. Reese hits a single. Bryce goes from first to third with his outstanding hustle. We know how that works. And Scott Kingery ends up knocking him in with an RBI ground out. But in the bottom of the fifth, Bryce Harper with bases juiced one out had a moment, had a chance, had an opportunity. And he grounded out into a double play. Now, am I supposed to sit here and rip apart Bryce Harper? (laughs) No, okay? The guy's been a stud all season long. The guy's been arguably our best hitter with runners in scoring position all season long. You're not going to go 100 out of 100. So in that moment, he did ground out into a double play. And it sucks. It sucks because he's been that guy all season long. But you don't succeed 100% of the time, especially in this sport. And we know that. It felt as if we were going to win this game, though. Because in the bottom of the ninth, we had a chance. With one out, Adam Hazley gets an infield single. Then Cesar Hernandez gets an infield single. Okay, okay, we're playing with some noise here. Brad Miller ropes one up the middle, but oh, Swanson makes an outstanding catch. Robs Bamboo Brad, and now there's two outs. Frank goes up. He's down in the count, but he's grinding this at-bat. It ends up being a full count at one point. And in foul territory, he pops it up, and Donaldson comes over, makes a play over the dugout to end the game. Two really great defensive plays out of the Braves in the bottom of the ninth. It felt as if the Phillies were actually going to snag this game. I had that gut feeling. But the Braves made two great plays. And, and think about it. We did it in the top of the ninth as well. And then they responded with two great plays in the, in the bottom of the ninth. And that's just how it goes sometimes. So to try and split the series, tomorrow we have Drew Smiley on the bump. But this team is what it is, right? It's so inconsistent. Yesterday our offense was explosive. We're hitting the ball out of the ballpark left and right. And then here we are tonight where we had, what, five singles? Five total hits? Night and day, night and day, every single game. You just don't know what you are going to get. Oh, by the way, Corey Dickerson left the game with with some soreness. So keep in mind, you know, will we have him for the future here? Will we have him coming down the stretch? At the point of this recording, we we are two and a half games back. The Cubs are in play now out west against the Padres, and the Brewers took care of business today, and they won. See, I just, I'm afraid because I know how this is going to work. The bullpen, after looking solid for two days here, two games in a row, they're going to fail at one point. They're going to fail. They're going to fail when we need them. We're going to get a great outing by one of our starting pitchers. We're going to need the bullpen to come in and close. And because they've been abused over the last few games, they're going to come in and guess what's going to happen. They're not going to be able to execute. They're not going to be able to get the job done. Because for the one millionth time this season, we can't get everything going on the same page at the same time. Today we had a good bullpen. Good. What's that mean when you score one run? What's that mean when your starting pitcher gives you four innings? It's actually wild to think about that. How poor our starting pitching has been. Now, hey, Zach Eplin gave up zero earned runs. That's what the statistics will tell you. But if you watch the game, he wasn't able to execute. He wasn't able to put guys away. And the Braves were literally fouling everything off, spoiling all these pitches. I mean, that pitch count's obnoxious. Not good enough at the end of the day. But big picture, you hold the Braves to three runs. Come on. That offense is powerful. That offense is elite. You hold them to three runs, you got to find a way to win that baseball game. The season is really coming to an end here. (laughs) You don't have that much to play around with. The schedule is slowly evaporating. And I just don't think we're going to get the job done at the end of the day. This was a game coming off yesterday's win where I'm not going to tell you I was pumped to watch it. But I had a little bit more sense of urgency than the last few games, I'd say. That Mets series, I had nothing. The first couple games in the series, I had nothing. But today, coming off that big win yesterday, I thought, all right, well, if we, if we can win the next two, maybe there'll be a little bit of juice. I feel like I've been doing that all season long, right? Oh, if we can win this, maybe I'll have juice. Oh, maybe if we do this, I'll have a little juice. Yeah, I've been saying that all season long. 
But I thought to myself, okay, yeah, I had a little extra sense of urgency compared to the last five or six games. Well, where do you think that went? <laughs> right into the toilet. I'm not excited for the Drew Smiley tilt tomorrow. Absolutely not. And for Dallas Keuchel. Did I even mention Dallas Keuchel yet? Has it been this long? And I haven't even mentioned Dallas Keuchel yet? I might have. I don't know. I've been rambling for 10 minutes now. But the guy goes six innings and strikes out eight. Hmm. Hold on. A guy that we could have had? Now, originally, early, early in the season, I wasn't all in, go get Keuchel. No, I, I wasn't. But then there was a time when we realized what we had. And when we realized it wasn't good enough, we still stayed away. And that's where I have the problem. Once you realize our starting pitching rotation was absolute hot garbage, you still elect to not even think about it. And that's what pisses me off because the guy's been solid. The guy's done his job. Oh, but, you know, his style of pitching won't work in Citizens Bank Park because it's hitter-friendly. Yeah, okay. All right. Because the style of pitching that we've gotten from everybody else this year on our roster, that's successful. That's good in Citizens Bank Park. Crap. What crap? Matt Klintak should be disgusted watching that baseball game. And John Middleton, is he even there? I don't know. I don't know. He could be at the uh, Eagles facility watching tape with Doug Peterson. Because when the Phillies were in a wild card race, when I say in a wild card race, I meant Sunday. When it was Sunday and the Phillies were playing the Mets, He's at the link watching the Eagles play. So, what does that say? Let me know your thoughts down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.